Good day, YouTubers. Today I'm just going to run over to Riding in Style in Sackville. It's a little motorcycle gear store. And they also sell patches. As was saying earlier, I'm on my way to that little gear store, riding in style, because I have seven patches that I need sewn on my vest. And the people that are riding in style, oh, they're the best to do. As I was saying earlier, I'm on my way to get some patches sewn on my vest. For the most part, you get patches because of places that we've ridden to. But sometimes it goes the other way, and we ride to a place just to get the patch. I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, two buddies and I rode from Nova Scotia to Milwaukee to Harley's 115th anniversary. Well, while I was standing in line behind some group, for some there were lineups everywhere, there was a guy in front of me that had a patch that said, I've been to hell and back. So I said to him, I said, hey man, where's hell? He said, oh, hell is a small village in Michigan. Oh, thank you. So later I checked it out on the GPS, on the on Google Maps actually, and it was about 60 miles, maybe an hour out of our way. So I mentioned to the guys, I said, hey, there's a, there's a village in Michigan. It's called Hell. And I was thinking, maybe we should go there and get a patch. What do you think? And they said, hey, hell, yes. So I said, fantastic. So anyway, I went to iTunes and downloaded Highway to Hell. And when we left Milwaukee, we took a slight detour into the village of hell just to get a pass. 
church. And by the way, hell is not a bad place. There's a nice pub. There's a restaurant. And a golf course. So, you know, if we end up there, it's, well, there's worse places to be. thinking that uh, having someone like Sally to sew on our patches, uh, a little gear store like Riding in Style that sells leather goods and helmets and other motorcycle uh, oddities. It, it's really important to our community and this year unfortunately Sally has announced that She's planning to retire. So at the end of th this riding season, they're hoping to find the new buyer for their property, or for their business, I guess I should say. So hopefully that will happen because it would be a real loss to our motorcycling community if Sally and Jim were to have to close that business because a buyer was not found. We'll be turning right to go into the parking lot uh, shortly. I want to thank you for riding along with me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And maybe hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next week. You take care. Have a great day.